Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I'm in Las Vegas, America. We're stood outside a Walmart Supercenter because today is the Cheap Bike Challenge Las Vegas edition. Let's get in there, see what wonderful bikes they've got to buy and get one bought. Come on. <laughs> Here we go, we've made it to the bike section in Walmart. The most fun place ever. There's loads of cool ones to choose from. Come on, let's see what we can buy. So that one's 148, that could be cool. It's full suspension as well. And I only have my full face helmet because we've came straight from Mexico to here. We've got this small one. So also when you go cheap, you want to keep the wheels as small as possible because then that means it's going to last longer because the smaller a wheel is, the less likely it is to buckle. After some careful consideration, I think this beast here is gonna be the one. $148, full suspension bike. First challenge you always have to do in a Walmart cheap bike challenge is to do a wheelie in Walmart. But you have to always ride with a helmet, remember that. Oh yeah, this is made for a shreddy. Let's get to the tills and buy this beast. 148 dollars. Oh. Let's go and destroy this bike. Right, we've just turned up the first location. Come over here. So cool. We got to sort of jump through this though to get in there. A little bit of faff later. Look at this. This is actually the drink. I know for you Americans, this is so normal, a drainage ditch, but this is what we'd love to have in England. Just a perfect rideable feature. But yeah, I'm gonna start up there and just go whoa, whoa, the whole way. Come on, let's get it then. First send on the Walmart bike. Oh, so sick. It's grease lightning. Whoa. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> Yo! Right there, that yellow bit, look at that. That is a perfect wall ride. Let's see if this little beast can actually be wall ridden or if I'm gonna break it. Oh, massive. There we go. We're gonna get out of here. I'm not really sure we're allowed to ride this, but that was sick. What an awesome first find for that little bike. We're now gonna find a pump track and see how that performs on this beast. We've now just come to the sickest place ever. Behind me is what looks like an absolute dream. Let's go and have a look at it closer. Oh, it looks sick, come on. Yeah, look at this amazing place. It's a huge pump track. There's sort of tabletop jumps in the back and it's gonna be a super good test for the Havoc. First test of this cool place is this little pump track. See how well this thing performs here. Um, this is the best. <laughs> wow. It actually always blows my mind that you can spend $140 and still get to join in with mountain bike stuff. Absolute dreams. Right, let's see if this thing can manual over these little rollers. That's my goal, I want to manual across all of these. The back brake is awful though, it's either on or it's off. It's gonna be quite hard. Oh! Ah! Ah! Yes! Cheap bike challenge. Right, this berm here almost looks like a spine. So I'm gonna get a big foot plant on it. Straight in, pure excitement. Oh. I still can't believe how good a cheap bike can be. Next thing I wanna try then are these weird tabletops here. They've actually got no transitions, but we'll blast the lap through these see if I can get any tricks done on there. This is where stuff gets scary because these forks are awful on here. 
perfect, perfect, perfect. As much as they don't have transitions, they feel well good. Wait, my brake's just done something weird. Oh, the first issue of a cheap bike. Is it broken? Oh no, that's just popped out. <laughs> Lucky I wasn't going down a big hill or something. Let's see what tricks are possible on that. I think I can suicide it. Let's get a little practice over this note. Oh my God, that's, oh, that's well scary. It is just hit and hope. The first jump's better for it though. So move up a bit and we'll focus on that first table. Oh, yes, that's insane. Wow. I now want to hit a line through here because actually works super good, these little tables. So I'm going to go suey, no foot can. Yes, you heard that right. Then no foot one hander, I love them. Let's get it then, clean. Flying in, Suey, no foot can, no foot one hand, yes, on the cheapy, yeah. This place is so fun. Unfortunately, if you turn the camera at these jumps next to you, you can see they're all messed up. Just below your feet there, the lips have been all like crushed and stuff. So we won't be riding that section just a bit unfortunate but I've seen a little lip over there where we could cut off some of these cables and see if we can get a bar spin on the go so what I want to do now for this bar spin to happen is single speed this bike pull the front brake away as we don't need that then we're gonna undo these now we're gonna take off this absolutely horrible non pill grip grip I'm gonna take the gears off then and also this front brake now we need to cut off the cable then I've got a really good trick for you for single speed which will work on any any derailleur so for the single speed trick you're gonna need a cable with a ball end on it like this you want to cut quite a long bit just in case then if you see here with the adjustment screw on the derailleur you put that through the ball end then gets stuck there you can then put your cable to where it normally goes but this way you can push the derailleur to where you need it, tighten this bolt back up, and then you'll find yourself having a free single speed conversion kit because your derailleur will be stuck in the chosen gear that you want. Best thing about this little hack is you can use this here that I'm twisting to move the gears around. As you can see, the derailleur's moving a little bit there. After a few little cable nips, we've now Got that front gearing set up for single speed. The rear gearing set up for single speed. I'm just gonna cut that away so it doesn't get in the way. And there we have a bar spinnable Walmart bike. Here's the little lip I found now. It's kind of a step up. So for this bike with its horribly weak forks, it should be a bit safer to try a bar spin up. Oh, yes, that's made for it. This bike's the best. Let's bar spin that little hip at the side there. Yeah, bar spin. There we go, landed the bar spin. The weather is absolutely amazing. So I think we're gonna get out of this spot and see what other cool things we can find. I've got a few other places on my map of Las Vegas that I wanna try on this beast. So let's get out of here and see what we can get into next. Come on. Now I'm going to make my way into Las Vegas. See if we can find anything in this ridiculous city. Wow, this thing wheelies well. It's actually unbelievable how good this is. Come on, let's go. I just found a stair set of doom. It's quite sketchy. Has to be done though. We're now deep in the Las Vegas strip. There's this little stair set of doom here I want to hit as a test for this bike. So I reckon if you go that way, we'll have that New York, New York in the back and I can sketchily ride down here. Let's do it before anyone comes. Here we go, it's a bit sketchy, but let's get it. Here we go, it's a bit sketchy, but let's get it. 
<laughs> Stair set of doom accomplished on the strip. Let's go and find some more stuff to ride. Wow, look at all these lights. This is so Vegasy. This is the old Vegas now. Thought we'd stop by for a little ride through here. Here we go, into the old Vegas. Look at this, so cool. Wow, the lights. Love it, Vegas. We've now found ourselves a little skate park to finish off on. I'm so surprised how good these cheap bikes actually are. You can actually have so much fun on them. So we're gonna start off with a little bar spin over that pyramid there. Come down here. Here we go. Cleanies. This thing's made for skate parking. We have to see if I can 360 it out of that fly out there. 360s get a bit sketchier on these cheap wheels. Cleanies though, stair set of doom. I feel like I could tail whip it. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> I'll take that. Even though my knee sort of landed on the seat. That's well good. The wheel didn't even buckle. That's a little bit buckled. What a beast, pure beast. This bike's getting a bit loose now. Everything feels a bit sketchy, but still holding up. So we're gonna try this bowl section here now. Oh, oh it's such a huge, huge bowl. <laughs> Firing round. See, it's survived through so much abuse. Actually incredible. We need something heavier though. I think I want to do a finale of a flare. Let's do a little 360 air first. Oh. Oh. Let's get this three then stomped. Wow, somehow actually stomped a three on this thing. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, it's all leading up to the flare though. So scary. Let's just do it. No, I don't know, it's too scary on there. Oh. Oh no. Oh look, it's so destroyed. No. Ah, see I thought it did last quite a while. I was so scared then, because these bars are all bent. I was waiting for them to snap and impale into my insides. Oh, at least we got round. Did a bit of a flare. And the frame is actually still intact. So if you were to put better wheels on this cheap bike, it'd probably last quite a while. Or if you just didn't do flares. Let's get out of this bowl. There we go, the inevitable happened. The cheap bike lasted a day. I mean, if I didn't try a flare on it, it probably would have lasted longer. So if you know where this skate park is, it's in that bin and you can take the parts. If you want it, you could just put a smaller wheel, you could put another wheel on there and it'd probably be fine. So that can go there. There we go. The cheap bike challenge has come to an end. It lasted so long. It's actually so impressive what you can do with a bike from Walmart. I'm very, very impressed. That was a good day of shredding, uh, but unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments. And if you sick, if you subscribe. See you in the next one. To the sky.